So maybe you want to stand a, a moment in the shade. But I had envisioned that we would stand next to the grave of um, Mark and keep our each other's hands, uh, at least for a minute. Yeah. And in that minute, maybe considering not just Mark, but anybody else who uh, suddenly passed away this year, for which, for whom we didn't have time, or we couldn't take time to uh, really um, get our emotions out and feel like that we are missing that person. Allora, suggerisco di stare un minuto insieme, eh, forse attorno alla tomba, giusto per eh, commemorare Mark, ma anche eh, le altre persone che ci sono venute a mancare quest'ultimo anno, che, al quale forse non abbiamo dedicato il tempo che volevamo o potevamo. I, I say this because uh, there's one essential thing, we are alive, we're all here. And just like every morning and every day the sun comes up and goes down, which is like a fixed thing in this multitude of uh, diversity which is happening now with virtual realities, people just vanishing that with our brain. We are alive and our biggest problem is that with you I can share what I feel. But with the person who's gone, it's only a mental thing. It's like that virtual reality. And that physically we cannot share that anymore. And that is our own problem and not the person who's gone. You know, he or she doesn't have that problem anymore. Um, so, in a way, this is kind of a, a celebration of life and a coming together to deal with our pain, but also, and our loss, but also to understand, okay, I'm, I'm still alive, which is kind of hard sometimes, even that. Do you want to leave? Si, si, but this was the whole thing I needed to do to get to do. farlo insieme, se non non si capiva. In pratica, la cosa curiosa è che ho suggerisco di fare questo perché uh, come il ciclo della, della terra, del sole, diciamo, una delle poche cose rimaste è che sappiamo che il sole si alza e poi tramonta, e che le stagioni pure ormai non si capisce più se ci stanno o no. E, però siamo noi che siamo ancora fisicamente presenti nel vivo, e co che ci confrontiamo tutto il tempo con le persone con cui non possiamo più condividere fisicamente eh, il nostro affetto, l'amore o rabbia o quello che è che qualche volta c'è di tutto e dunque in un certo senso stare insieme perché, per ricordarci dei nostri cari amici e persone è una cosa per piazzare noi bene in questa vita e non ho detto tutto nello stesso modo però più o meno è quello l'intento ok so and then once, once we have that moment of silence just, I would say just a minute if everybody agrees. I know some people want to read maybe a poem or say something about Mark. And maybe there's a word that come, came up to you in the, that you just want to say one word or a little sentence. And if you say nothing, it's fine as well. It's not a problem. I mean, it's... Uh, and before I, we go there, staying uh, still in the shade, I would say some words about the gravestone. Yeah. The gravestone has been done by Marina. And I'm very grateful for that. And the motive was one of the light motives of our Max and my being together. It's the spiral. The spiral, the levels of development uh, which we all go through in our life, and we might stop in some way, but we were very much uh, into integral theory and levels of development as part of it. So it starts with the survival level and goes up and goes up and goes up until we go into a more cosmic, let's say, uh, level of consciousness. And I love the idea to have this on the gravestone and M Marina did her very best. And even if you look at it, she did a, 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 a certain, uh, how can I say, a certain trick, you know, mm -hmm. which the spiral goes down and goes up mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. There is this moment in the middle, when you look at it, which is turning the directions around. So you have both directions. And because we always, when the time, when we have life conditions, 
then it is very difficult and then we may go down the spiral again, you know. And then in better times we might go up again and the life achievement is how far we can get, go up into, into levels which allow us to see life and everything in a more, from many perspectives and that we are not so closed in a, in a narrow mindset. And, but we were very much connected on talking about these things. So, yeah, thank you, Marina, for joining us. I don't know, uh, Hermeline, if you want why we are the first stay and then in some moment to begin to. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say I was in Germany and I did a session on, on grief. Uh, and uh, it was on uh, with music, and in a certain moment arrived the flute, and I immediately thought of uh, of Hermeline, and I asked her if she could if she could use her flute to to finally for me it's <laughs> egocentric, but I want to to let go with the grief, you know, and that session was already very good, and I thought now when you can. Uh, do that for me. <laughs> I would be very, very, very grateful. Did you get it, Mona? Allora, in Germania ho avuto questa sessione sul dolore che ha a che fare con la morte, diciamo, no? e, 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 e ha sentito a un certo punto musica e poi c'era il flauto. Uh -huh. E per quello che ha chiesto a Melina se suona il flauto, perché non vuole... Qui, come si dice in italiano? Il dolore del lutto non... Hai. Non è che non gli è permesso più, <ride> però è passato un anno, vorrebbe che vorrebbe lasciarlo andare, lasciare sì. andare. e con questo si augura che succeda con la musica sì. di Ermelina per tutti. Mm. E poi e eh, ho scelto questa giornata perché sarebbe il nostro, nostro anniversario. That's also important, yeah. Mm. It was the anniversary yeah. of Heidi and Mark, so... Yeah. Because Mark passed away on the 30th. But yeah, but I was in Germany, so yeah. I couldn't do that. And that's why uh, mm -hmm. Heidi has chosen this day today. And mm -hmm. God, you thank you that you are all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I leave to you. And like okay. You. So so shall we, shall we, we uh, spend a moment? Yeah. Moment yeah. sign. See, we see now on the tomb of today. To honor him. I hold your, uh, your elbow. <laughs> yeah, I thank Mark for the time we had together. And let's see how life goes on. And I would like to thank Mark for being such a wonderful person, <coughs> for having the privilege of having known him. And then I want to end that with a sort of flippant note, because that's how I am, I think. Uh, it comes from the film by <coughs> Woody Allen. The mother says, <coughs> live every day as if it's your last day, and one of these days you'll be right. <ride> c'è un film di Woody Allen dove praticamente la mamma dice al ragazzo vive tutti i giorni come se fosse l'ultimo almeno una volta avrai ragione that's one of the things that even when he was uh, ill not feeling well he would always have a joke ready yeah. Mark so that's what I remember of Mark yeah. as well even the last hour when you yeah. see he yeah. even still made us laugh yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was also want to commemorate the, the sacrifice of Heidi for the last month she was with him every minute mm. every second every pain everything she was there thank you I love to forget the pussycat. <coughs> yeah, the pussycat is here too. His blind cat is more or less here. Okay. Oh.
we can go back into the, in the shade, shade of, and, and, uh, and maybe we still um, and my father passed away nine years ago and that's when we asked the city hall just to be able to bury him here and all the other tombs were completely abandoned even some of the crosses were missing and I've been working together with Tiziana for a while uh, she makes mosaics and so we decided to have the tomb like this and a lot of the people asked me a lot of questions of the area. And, uh, and Mark always like, appreciated that tomb as well, um, the fact that my father was here. And it's kind of interesting that, well, you know, when, when Mark passed away, we asked the Ski van Oort, yeah, the city hall from Narni, if they had another place. And it happened to be the one. And thank you to Giovanni, who helped me with all these formalities, with all the administration. It was really great. Thank you. And, 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 and so it's accidentally they are together. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, and his father was funny. And Mark was funny. funny so yeah. I always yeah. have I the always idea make jokes. that now they are down there and <laughs> make, they make, make they're jokes. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> fun of yeah. The schizzi, the barzellette sotto terra, questi due. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so I don't know if anybody wants to add something. I also, I just want to thank uh, Heidi, and she, because she's also invited us for uh, the, like a, a drink and uh, something to eat. Yeah, I still want to say something about this and the plant I planted here. For yeah. I was in South Africa and this was the result of, of Mark's death in some way. Because last year we wanted to go to the conference in Hungary, the integral conference. We couldn't because he was so uh, ill and we got the money back. And then I did the crowdfunding campaign and I got quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, the burial, to my surprise, doesn't cost so much as it costs in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> so I had money left and before he died and it was really difficult time, I said, when this is over, I want to go somewhere. And so there came the occasion that I could go mm. to South Africa and I went, and this is from South Africa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And this little plant, uh, I got it in Taizin. It is a sort of a piante casa in the right uh, corner. Ah. And I, I planted here so he can participate in, the <laughs> in Africa, in the African Integral Tour. <laughs> and we went there to see the spiral the levels of development life, which in South Africa you can see everything from absolute survival, uh, people living on the streets and, and so on, up to the highest level, let's say, of consciousness and all together in, 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 in one country. And it, it's a surprising country. I was really amazed about it. And when we uh, have problems here with refugees, we should go there and see how many refugees they have, and they are not as rich as we are, and they have to deal with that. So I was really amazed how they do it with the friendliness, with the, the African spirit. I like that. The, the people also, how can I say, open, open, and the, with blinking eyes, even if they are not well off, you know, that doesn't seem to be, to be so important as it is to us. Anyway, it was a big uh, adventure and 
thanks to Mark and thanks to all of you who have contributed to that. It's fun to be here, to show flowers. I will think of all of you when I come to give water. <laughs> and again, thanks, Marina. Because first I thought you had to do a mosaic too, and then we talked about it, and um, I had thought in my presumptuous ideas I could do it myself, you know. <laughs> and I realized I couldn't. <laughs> And she did a great work, really. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So Genuine. Pure. So beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. And now, maybe another little uh, okay. more happy uh, yeah. thing. And then we, I invite you to a little uh, aperitivo at Sarah's. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> Celebrate <laughs> This was a fairy song. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah? They danced on the flower leaves and uh, um, I will get some more water and then I come. <laughs> okay.